Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In today's video, we are going to create a simple chat bot using a generative AI platform called Dante AI. Now just imagine if you want to create a chat GPT like bot on your custom data and you have very limited expertise of large language model, generative AI as a technology and you don't have much expertise in coding as well. So how you can leverage this generative AI platforms or there are multiple services like Dante AI for example. So we are going to you know utilize Dante AI services, we will create a knowledge base where we will upload a document and we will create a simple chatbot. That's what we are going to do in this video and that chatbot you can also use that in your website. You know, so you can send it to your friends, colleague, family, wherever you want to send that chatbot. It's very easy to create a chatbot using generative AI nowadays. There are multiple, you know, platforms and services where you upload it, a PDF or video and audio. There can be, you know, a multiple uh, format of your data. There can be multiple sources of data as well. You know, you can bring all those data together and you can create a powerful chatbot which is powered by a large language model. That's what we are going to do in this video, guys. So let's jump in. So if you currently see, I am on uh, Dante AI. It's, it says custom GPT so generative pre-trained transformer if you're not aware about GPT you know it's kind of a large language model which is built on a transformer architecture so transformer was released by Google in ba back in 2015 and on based on transformer there have been multiple language model that has been you know uh, trained after that so it, it says custom GPT chatbots trained on EO data. Now you have EO data, you have your, you know, uh, retail products data, you have your recipe data, you have your academia data, you have any kind of data, the document that you have, and I want to create a chatbot out of it. How can we do that? That's why we are going to see in this videos so using Dante, which says zero coding, share on your website in minutes. I don't know the meaning of Dante guys. I think uh, it's, is it a German word? Let me know in the comment box. I think Dante means I have, I have no idea. Maybe you can tell me the meaning of Dante, for example. It's like a very catchy name. Okay. It says, build a GPT-4 chatbot in minutes. Train the AI, customize and embed on your website. That's the most you know important thing. Embedding on your website. Now imagine, for example, you have an e-commerce site, you have your you know, uh, edutech site, you have your courses site, membership site, you know, whatever sites that you have, you, know, you can just embed this chatbot which is powered by a large language model. Now you can see that they have given you some uh, testimonial, etc. The key features, create powerful AI knowledge bases, accessible and easy to use. And that's why we are creating this video because it's easy to use guys. Now if you come down, it will say available in over 100 plus languages. Now you have your document or your data in for example in, you know, in Turkey, you have in, in your Hindi, you have in English, Spanish, French. Now you can also use that. They also provide API, but API is for paid, uh, paid services, guys. It's not you will not get that in free. Okay, so we are going to rely on a free version. And let me show you the important question: Where is my data stored? So if you use Dante, there might be a concern that hey, look, I am uploading my private data. What will Dante you know do with that data? So if you read this, it says at Dante we prioritize the security of your data, which is why we only store the content on secure and in encrypted AWS servers, we cannot read or access your document. That's what they are claiming. But again, you have to go through the privacy policies and go through the terms and conditions. If you are trying to upload a private set of data, which are very confidential, I will not recommend that. But again, you can do that if you are, you know, okay with the privacy policies, terms and conditions of Dante. So let's jump in. So currently, if you see, I am on their dashboard. So I have logged in with my Gmail account. Okay, the Google account. You can see AI anytime. Let me just do a dark theme here. I prefer more of a dark theme. And this is how it looks the in frame the interface. Sorry, you can see the pro. So pro uses GPT 3.5, which is turbo model by Azure Open AI and also Open AI. It's available on both the platforms, and they also uses GPT 3.5. So Dante uses GPT 3.5, you know, to kind of create this chatbot. But if you use the Pro Plus, which is the Pro Plus version, they use the GPT 4. So GPT-4 is the most advanced large language model that currently exists in this world. When we talk about closed source model, probably in both open source and closed source model com combined, right? There are Falcon, there are other models that kind of claim that they are better than GPT-4. You know, it's it's the evolution is still going on. Now, if you see, it says, hey, welcome to Dante. I will help you get started. If you have any specific questions, you can use the chat at the bottom of the screen. 
to start creating your first knowledge base, which means training your AI model. Now you have your own data, right? So you have to create a knowledge base, a knowledge base of your knowledge repositories, right? That's what we are going to do. Drag and drop a file into the chat window or click new knowledge base, right? In the sidebar. Once trained, start chatting via the chat below in over 100 plus languages. Any question, just ask. We are here to help. Fascinating, right? Let's do that. So if you see in the left hand side, we have something called hey, new knowledge base. You know, so let's click on new knowledge base. It says knowledge base name. So I'll show you the data that I'm going to use. I'm going to use this Technovision 2023 data. So it's it's my from my organization. It's a public document. Anybody on the internet can access this document. It's really fascinating, you know, the Technovision, the the effort that has gone gone into creating this document or the entire framework or that we call in Capgemini. I'm associated with this organization. You now we follow this kind of a framework. We use this. To you know, drive innovation wherever required. So you can see they have write the technology. There is there are several several containers and trends that we use to explain. So you can see the group CIO message over there. The introduction. You can see the great Ron Toledo, CTO, master architect insights and data that we have a GBL insights Capgemini where I work, and you can see it completely here. Okay all the containers and trends and you see all these images right all these images are being generated by image generation model for example mid journey you know or stable diffusion i think it's mainly from mid journey now if you see how to basically you know uh, present your story right you are the story or the that when you're talking or interacting with the client what different you can do apart from asking the same repetitive question right so that's where this techno vision helps okay so if you come down you can see overview we have your this uh, uh, the containers or with a balance by design you know uh, process on the fly invisible infrastructure application unleashed and all those things you can see all the details there are you know inside containers we have trends you can see net data creative machines etc for example and you can see the images also guys it's, it's mind blowing right the images i think it's mainly mid journey if i'm not wrong and so this is the document that i'm going to use this is around 112 pages. It's a public document. You can get that on the internet and you can read that as well. And you can use this uh, at your workplace or at in your engagement or whatever you do, right? If you are from IT or even you're dri driving innovation, right? You can utilize the knowledge that you will gain from this document and you can just use that. That's the chatbot that we are going to build. So we'll build on top of this. So let's do that. Now I'm just going to call it here Techno Vision. KM. Let's call it Technovision KM for now. We don't need URL. I'll just upload. So I'll come on the uh, desktop where I have this file, and I'm just gonna use this Technovision file. You can see I have uploaded. It's the one document. Let's create. So you can see it says uploading your knowledge base files, guys. Calculating. This might take little time. It says large files and URLs may take several minutes to complete. That's what it does because it has to create the embeddings and everything, right? So if you if you are a technical guy, you'll understand. You have a data that will do the pre-processing. There's a Langchain coming in. There are a lot of other tools, Llama, GPT index, whatever. And then it creates the embeddings and then it kind of LLM inference on top of it. You can see knowledge base is trained. You can see the knowledge base had been trained over here. Okay, knowledge base. So let me just click on this. I'll just do give me a summary of this knowledge base. So I have uploaded a knowledge base, which is Technovision KM. You can see it over here, Technovision KM. Now it says, hey, hi, how, how can I help you? Right. So now I'll just give me a summary of this knowledge base. Now, when I click on this, it says the knowledge base is a collection of trends and design principle of organization to consider when working with technology. That's what I said, right? It emphasizes the importance of data automation and simplicity in application services, as well as the need for balance and trust in the organization, which is which are extremely important, right? The knowledge base also includes references to various technologies and tools that can be used to achieve these goals. So we're talking about sustainability, AI, blockchain, NFT, for example. So. Let's ask some more question. How can organization implement the principle outlined in the knowledge you know, base? So the knowledge base, the Technovision KM that we are talking about. Now you can see technology effectively, this principle activating data assets, transforming IT automation platform into fully connected business operations platform, blah, blah, blah. So we, we are getting the result now. Now let me just also do one thing. The knowledge base provides it also reads it for you guys. So it also has a text to, to speech capability. Effectively. 
that's these principles that's fascinating right so now suppose for example activate. you want to build something a chatbot and you also want to learn it's just like a, you are doing a paid project or a hobby project and you have a public data the data which are not that confidential you can use dante ai to kind of create a knowledge base understand the little bit about on very high level as a black box and you can create a chatbot that's the learning part right now if you come here in the left hand side you can see now we have 28 credits available we have 30 all together now if you see we have customized your chatbot so let's click on customize your chatbot now it says base prompt you must act as a document in the knowledge base never refer to anything outside of the document you are trained on so we are trying to you know control something called hallucination okay so it's not really that means that we are trying to control here but for example i don't want to retrieve the information from gpt 3.5 base model knowledge i want the information only from this document so if i ask hey who is the president of the united states of america i don't want joe biden I, I i want something like okay i don't know because those information are not available inside this document that's what i want so that's what the default prompt you can see you can again you know uh, click on change that for example it says hi how can i help you so i'll just write hi i am hi i am the techno villain bot how can i help you so this is like you know just in a boilerplate so where we'll have some someone to welcome you remove powered by dante it's for oh, current plans so or not on free free plan it will be there give me a summary of this knowledge base write a poem about this knowledge base tell me five key point about this you know uh, knowledge base or something this is okay let's keep this at same chatbot logo link add logo the logo is on the chatbot when share at a direct link please use techno vision no please use five to recommended dimensions i think let's keep that or and we can see that I'll, I'll see how we can use this update chat bubble circle logo this is okay so now this click on that this looks nice powered by dante this is okay this looks now let me do one thing let me get an ai logo svg quickly and see if i can get some so this would be ai logo otherwise it shows the adobe illustrator i don't want that let me go to images if i have something like a chatbot a kind of a thing let's have this you know or uh, what do we want to have maybe something like this or let me just do a chatbot svg svg or something this is okay maybe we can have this so let me just save image as desktop and i'll come over here i'll just do browse no not on this okay logo link i think this add logo so i'll just come on desktop where did i save it i think i have saved it over here let's see if we can get okay so i think the logo uh, the link where the user should be redirected ah okay click on the logo so this is the link okay for the redirections let me do one thing let me click on techno vision capgemini so i want them to redirect to techno vision capgemini where and i'll copy this and see if this works so let me just come back here and i'll just click on this this let me just do a confirm now i just confirmed it your current ai does not support chatbot customization okay so as we are on the free version we can't do that so let me just do a back and let me just click on this now let me click on share your chatbot sharing is not available on the free trial so please upgrade to be able to but you just saw right how we built this uh, kind of a chatbot let me ask some questions what do you mean by balance balance by design now this is my query now i'm asking this what do you mean by balance by design so let's see balance by design is an overarching container of design so you can see now the response that we are getting right it's it's so so interesting guys so maybe if you are interested you can have a paid version you know that's how you get the uh, membership here so, so you can see the membership us 10 dollar per month you know gpt4 model you know 1000 message credit per month so if you want to upgrade you can upgrade here as well for membership and you can share that bot with a good interface you don't have so basically it's a completely a no code i will say it's a no code ai kind of a, helps you to create a no code ai chatbot now if this is powered by large language model you can see balance by design as an overarching container of design principle it asks some questions like what do you what does 
so let me just go through the document quickly so i'll just ask something like uh, let's ask some question creative machine okay let's ask about creative machine what does creative creative machine means okay now this is what i'm asking creative machine means and i'll just do here this what does creative machine means according to the techno vision knowledge base now you can see it's able to you know uh, capture this techno vision knowledge base that we have created creative machine refers to generative creative ai systems you know, that can produce new synthetic content of all kinds including text music medic you know medicines let me just do one thing i'll just copy this and i'll do english to hindi uh, translator i'll just put that in that here and i'll just copy this and see if it's able to also get hindi creative machine ka kya arth hai so this is basically in hindi and you can see right it's it's able to respond in hindi as well, right this is this is amazing right because they they have this multilingual capabilities as well in your chatbot so now your regional languages or the wherever you are using some other languages it is it is able to kind of inference it and able to return the response to you and you can see the speed is also very good guys right so this looks great to me you know at, at least on free version at least you can try but it, you you need to upgrade to have to basically customize this chatbot and also share your chatbot with your friends you can see it says sharing is not available on the free trial please upgrade to be able to now you have to upgrade this and that's the upgradation you can see here upgrade membership and you can then upgrade and here is the kind of a uh, dark and theme that you have seen so now you see how easy it is to create a chatbot again based on the the, the hype that we are seeing currently the generative ai the, the hype we see in this current world after chat gpt how you can build your own chat gpt on your custom data whatever data that we have different language it should supports everything 10 dollar per month on 1000 of request i think that's a little costly but makes sense because chat gpt itself is 20 dollar but that's unlimited in that right uh, monthly so you can again explore this you have new conversation you have you know this conversation because this like an interface is similar like chat gpt where you have in left hand side you have all the histories right so this is what also it does here so this is what we wanted to do in this video guys i hope you like this video and i i really love love the uh ease that we have seen how easy it is with dante ai to create a chatbot you know, it's it's really easy and i created a, on a techno vision chatbot using dante ai so if you are interested please have a look at this video and maybe you can create your own chatbot okay so that's all you know i wanted to do in this video guys i hope you like the content and you like the video so if you like the video please give a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet do subscribe the channel and please share the video and channel with your friends and to peer more such content will be you know published in the upcoming days and i'm also working on some end to end projects i'll also post those videos very soon so i hope you are liking the content i am creating thank you so much so much for watching see you in the next one guys